Hey, it's Joseph here. With SketchUp, it's really easy to build a 3D model and conceptualize what you're trying to build as an architect, furniture designer, interior designer, and so on. However, bringing those things into Revit can be challenging because you have to properly position it and view it right, all that sort of troubles. And also you can find vast amount of 3D geometries inside a 3D warehouse. So a way to bring those elements into Revit in a more workable manner will be desired. So I want to present you a way to bring in SketchUp geometry into Revit even at a parametric level as a family. So let's find the model that we want to use today. So here is the model that I'm going to use today. It's a curved TV 88 inch, I suppose, and it's Isaac de Paula. And you can just download a recent model there. So as soon as that downloads, often instead of opening this directly by double clicking it, what I usually do is I just drag that into SketchUp and see what element it brings because it could have all sorts of different styles if you double click in and it's hard to see what is going on. So if I bring in like that, I can just delete that one and then just maximize the screen. Notice how it had some element that I probably didn't intend to have. So I can explode this element right here and just delete that. And also I'm gonna focus on putting this onto the wall. So I actually won't need this stand so let me see if i can delete that separately okay so that's going away nicely and i can just come out of it and try to have that in the origin so that revit understands where it is coming from so let me just place that somewhere in the origin by the way if you have trouble stepping onto the origin you can just turn on k which is back edges so hit k once and then just you should be able to land onto origin nicely. K back again. And then I have position all of that. And then what I will do is file export 3D model. And I actually have a shortcut of control three. So in a desktop, I'm just going to save out as a DWG. And then I'm just going to save it as curved TV01. And just in case go into options, all of them seems fine for now, export. And then as soon as that has finished, my business inside of SketchUp has been finished. And then I can have this DWG file. So I have a Revit file that I have prepared in the last video. So if you're wondering how I got here, you can check out the link in the description. With imported 3D elements such as this TV, it wouldn't actually cut properly. So if I move, nudge it down, notice how my cut does not change at all. Even if I move it out of the way, only because it is going through the wall as you can see down here and even if I just come around cutting in between it wouldn't change a bit so the conclusion is 3d imported element inside a Revit doesn't necessarily play nice so how do we come over this and also avoid trouble of placing this rotate and then put it in the right place so we want to put 3d geometry inside a family so that it cuts nicely and then it's much easier to place so let me just go to view and then tap view so that I can maximize this. And I'm just gonna go into file, new, family. And in here, there's a lot of families that are available and you can certainly go to generic model if you need to. However, I'm gonna do wall-based generic model, open. And then in here, I'm gonna start to bring in the CAD file that I was working on. I wanna bring in as a black and white because preserve often carries in colored lines and it is quite distracting. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in the black and white open. And once I bring that, notice how that comes in as a pinned. So I'm just gonna rotate that around 180 degrees. And because I want that somewhat up against the wall, I'm just gonna push it up there. So I'm just searching TV wall here and I kind of want sort of a recessed area around the TV. So I would need a void extrusion. So if I go to placement side, let me just put that up a bit and just make sure I put down four feet from the floor so I can highlight this elements and then make that four feet. 
So I kind of want reference plane so I can control that amount later on. So CS to create similar and then just draw a reference plane and stretch that a little bit and I can just make that into a bottom line and make sure you check define origin so I can use that height data later on. And then also go into create void forms and void extrusion. And once I do that, I can just draw a rectangle around the TV itself. However, I want sort of an offset from it. So let's put down something like four inches. And then I can just start from this side right here and down there and four inches has been maintained. And I can actually hit dimension DI for short and then just dimension off of that. And you can see it is four inches. And I actually want that all around because I wanna put that down as a parametric value as well. So there you go. And once I do that, I can highlight one of them and just click on this button here, create parameter. And then I can just assign a name of offset. And once I do that, that value is going to change and assign parameter. And I want all of these three to be the same. So highlight all of those three and then make them into offset. And if I accept that, that has become void extrusion. And the extrusion is actually one foot right now. I kind of want that slightly lesser. So perhaps I can just say three inches, enter, and then you will see it so that it is going halfway into this wall. Let me just change this wall type into something much thicker. So 12 inches and it is coming into this much. So right now it is not cutting anything because it is not posted properly from this wall. So I can just select that, go into cut geometry and then make sure you select that one and then that one afterwards and you'll see that cut into that void. So the placement side, you can see that line there and that has been assigned as a parametric value there and there. I want the depth as a parametric value as well. So I can highlight this one, CS again to have create similar and I can just draw a line back here and then call this a named as cut depth. So I can just highlight this one and then drag that onto this line here. And then as soon as that lock shows up, you can lock it so that it is referenced properly. And then I can just put down a dimension from that reference plane onto the surface of this wall. And then I can just highlight this one and say something like three inches. So I can select this and assign parameter as well. So just click on that one and then cut depth. So once I do that, I'm ready to bring this element into my main project. So load into project and close. Do you want to save this changes? Yes, of course. And then I can just name that curved TV01, enter. And once I bring that in, I can just place it anywhere in the wall. You can notice that. So it just follows me around. I can just plunk it anywhere that I want it to go. Obviously, I don't want Curved TV sprinkled all around my house. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. However, I do want that one to be here. So pick a new host, and then I'm just gonna place it right there. And notice how it just cuts into the wall nicely. And then you can see if I tile the view. So the short key for that is WTZA, so that I tile all the views and then zoom all. So if I look into here, there's actually two things. So this one was my initial CAD import that I've done. Done. and whereas this one is the family that I brought in you can see the offset of the wall there and that is cutting nicely into the spot this CAD wasn't really cutting nicely so I'm just gonna get rid of this one I used to have so delete that so let me just demonstrate that again so it is cutting nicely depending on where my TV is. So ZA again to just kind of view everything properly. I just kind of want it there. And let's make sure it is showing up four feet. If I actually highlight this family, notice how the elevation is showing up as four feet. I can change that to three feet if I wanted to, and then that will just lower down. And also I can just bring that up to five feet if I want that slightly higher. That is away from the kids and still high enough. And then I can just select that. And if I go to edit type, notice how there is 
cut depth and offset. So if I want it to cut more, so notice how much that is in there right now. However, if I want that to cut a bit further, five inches, and if I want a bit more offset there, I can just put down much larger value such as eight and okay that. And then there you go. So notice how it is just widened the offset and it is cutting much further. Only the problem is it was warning me because I have another wall back here. So perhaps not that deep. So I want that to be back at four inches and then offset at eight inches is completely fine. So I have that offset of the TV. So hopefully that demonstrates how to bring in SketchUp Element into Revit with even parametric values as a family. And if you have found it useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.